Welcome to Made on Maple Street. I'm Andrea, and I'm glad you're here. Recently, my 12-year-old daughter requested a bedroom makeover, and since her room hasn't been updated since she was in preschool, I figured it was time for a change. I purchased a new bedspread and pillows from Target and a few wall hangings from Amazon, but I wanted to create a few more inexpensive decorations to finish up the room. Stay tuned to see how I made these simple DIYs using mostly items from Dollar Tree and the Target dollar spot. Let's get right into it. For this first DIY, I started with a hanging rainbow that I picked up at Dollar Tree during the Valentine season. After removing the twine hanger from the top, I gave the front of the rainbow a coat of ivory chalk paint. While waiting for the paint to dry, I grabbed an Easter hat from Dollar Tree and removed the tag and ribbon from around the hat. Then I deconstructed the hat leaving me with a very long strip of the straw material. I used hot glue to secure one end of the straw to the back of the rainbow and wrapped the straw around the rainbow until it was completely covered. I used all of the straw from one hat and a small amount from another hat. Once the rainbow was completely wrapped, I grabbed four different colors of yarn from Dollar Tree. I cut a piece of straw to the length I wanted the yarn to be so that I could use it as a guide when cutting the yarn. I cut about 40 pieces of each color of yarn, which turned out to be quite tedious. Next, I attached a piece of painter's tape to the rainbow. I cut the tape into four equal sections so that I could ensure each color of yarn was evenly distributed on the sides of the rainbow. I attached the yarn to the rainbow using hot glue and pressed the yarn down with a silicone makeup applicator from Dollar Tree to protect my fingers. Once all of the yarn was secured, I used hot glue to attach another rainbow to the back to make it more polished. And that was it for this adorable door hanger. If you're a fan of Dollar Tree DIYs, please let me know by subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button. For the second DIY, I started with two small signs I picked up from Dollar Tree. I unwrapped the signs and removed the tiles from the frames. After changing my mind a few times, I finally decided on painting the frames with hazelnut chalk paint from Waverly. Once I finished painting the frames, I gave each of the tiles a coat of black chalk paint. When the paint was dry, I placed the tiles back into the frames. Next, I added some vinyl cutouts that I designed in Cricut Design Space. I used my Cricut machine to cut the designs out of matte white vinyl and attached them to the signs with the help of my favorite opaque transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl. After removing the transfer tape, these fun signs were finished. Are you on Instagram? I'd love to connect with you there. 
come find me at Made on Maple Street. For the third project, I started with a wooden circle from Walmart, two wooden spheres from Michaels, and two tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. After removing the tags from the wooden circle, I gave it a quick sanding with my sanding block. Next, I gave all of the wooden pieces a coat of black chalk paint. While the paint was drying, I removed the label from this 10 inch chunky slat from Dollar Tree, which was going to be the base of this design. Then I grabbed the wooden circle from earlier. I didn't paint the entire front of it because I was going to cover it in vinyl, but looking back, I wish I would have because the vinyl was more see-through than I was expecting. I placed a large vinyl circle in the center of the wooden circle and removed the transfer tape. Next, I grabbed this sheet of wall stickers from Dollar Tree. I chose three stickers that I liked and arranged them on the circle. I did have to trim the tall pink stickers a bit so they would fit better. Then it was time to assemble the pieces. I used wood glue to attach a tumbling tower block to the center of the base. I finished it off by attaching the circle to the block and gluing one sphere on each side of the circle. I think this one turned out pretty cute. For this next DIY, I wanted to upgrade a tray for the top of my daughter's dresser. After applying painter's tape to the bottom of the tray, I painted the sides of the tray with black chalk paint. Next, I disassembled another Dollar Tree Easter straw hat. I cut strips of straw to the size of the inside of the tray and attached them to the bottom using hot glue. Once the bottom was covered, I grabbed a piece of faux suede from this pack to create some handles for the tray. I used my rotary cutter to cut a thin strip of suede. The suede was a bit too thick, so I cut it in half, and then I cut that strip into smaller pieces. Next, I grabbed some gold thumbtacks from Dollar Tree and trimmed them down with my wire cutter. I attached the suede handles to the sides of the tray with some hot glue. Then I added a thumbtack to each side of the handle, and this tray upgrade was complete. For this simple DIY, I started with two gold frames and this sheet of wall stickers from Dollar Tree. I removed the backings and inside papers from the frames. Next, I placed one of the inside papers on a piece of cardstock and traced around it. I repeated this process for the other frame as well. I cut out the white rectangles and placed a wall sticker on each one. I put the papers and the backings back into the frames and that was it for this simple DIY. Thank you. 
This next project took no time at all. I started with the ceramic circular frame I picked up at Dollar Tree. I used my Cricut machine to cut a rainbow out of rose gold metallic vinyl. While I love the look of the metallic vinyl, I find it is a bit difficult to weed. Once the weeding was complete, I placed a piece of transfer tape over the rainbow. I cleaned the frame with some rubbing alcohol and placed the rainbow in the center of the frame. After removing the transfer tape, this easy project was finished. I really love the way this one turned out. For this project, I wanted to upgrade a book box from the Target dollar spot. I used my Cricut machine to cut the words, it's just a phase, out of matte black vinyl. I also cut the phases of the moon out of that same metallic vinyl from earlier. After weeding the moon phases and the text, I placed them down onto a large piece of transfer tape and removed the white backings from both. I applied the vinyl to the center of the crate, removed the transfer sheet, and that was it for this simple upgrade. Let's hope that my daughter's books actually make it into this box. For this final DIY, I started out with a small piece of wood I found in my stash. I gave it a coat of black chalk paint and set it aside to dry. Next, I grabbed this pack of bamboo rings from Dollar Tree. I gave both of the rings a coat of antique gold rub and buff that I recently picked up at Michael's. Once the rings were dry, I used wood glue to attach them together. After that glue dried, I used more wood glue to attach the rings to the piece of wood I painted black earlier, and that was it for the simple decor piece. My daughter really liked the way this one turned out. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found some inspiration to create a few DIY projects of your own. Which project was your favorite? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!